A Minneapolis landmark is undergoing a major transformation to get ready for the Super Bowl. Six months from now, the Minneapolis Armory will be a large nightclub and an event center that can host concerts. The historic building in downtown Minneapolis was most recently used as a parking garage. Today, the head of an entertainment company that is partnering with the owner of the Armory gave us a look inside and shared his plans for the Super Bowl. Angela Davis reports. The Minneapolis Armory was built for the Minnesota National Guard in 1935. In the 1940s and 50s, the building was home to the Minneapolis Lakers basketball team. Fast forward to January 2018. The Armory will be the place to party during Super Bowl week. I think this is going to be one of the most incredible venues in the, in the country at this size. Jack Murphy's company, Nomadic Entertainment Group, worked the last 13 Super Bowls. He says by December, the Armory will be a 300,000 square foot, multi-tiered nightclub that can hold about 8,000 people. There are also private spaces for corporate events. There is some business that they need to do while they're here, so we'll create really cool lounges in here, speakeasy type looking stuff. He says the Armory will host concerts by A-list performers on the three nights prior to Super Bowl Sunday. Listen to who performed last year in Houston. I was fortunate enough to have the Chain Smokers and Sam Hunt on a Thursday night. Bruno Mars was our, uh, our Friday night um, talent with DJ Khaled. And uh, we had Taylor Swift finish the night on Saturday. After the Super Bowl, the Armory will be an event center where weddings and car shows could be held, as well as more concerts. Angela Davis, WCCO4 News. The Armory will also host a big after party after the big game. Performers for the nights leading up to the Super Bowl will be announced in September. Tickets will go on sale in October. Real estate developer Ned Abdel bought the Armory in 2015.